Hey, these are like the biggest difficulties we've had in 30, yeah, almost yeah. 40 sessions. It's right? the first time yes. shit crashed on my end. Yeah. I feel like it happened twice, twice today, basically. Like, first time just Roll20 messing up and now my PC messing up. Uh, maybe it's time to switch away from Chrome. That could also be the possibility. Yeah. Is everything set up? I think so. Very good. I, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, are there any other big trees here? And if there are, you can just place me in them. Because I'll be, I'm taking as much time as I need to look in mm -hmm. from each big tree there is. Yeah. Um, the, the major problem is that it's still night and you only have 60 feet in provision. Yep. So you won't get much information during the night. That's fine. I think then I'll spend the rest of the time. I think it's way too late to go to sleep. I've already woken up fully. Uh, mm -hmm. I will spend the rest of this night and the morning as much as I needed to, to look for the essentially best camping area, camping area that I can, because I'm, I'm ready to spend some days here as a reconnaissance. Okay. So I'm, I'm putting effort into finding the best tree. Even it's a cave or like a hole, like a badger hole, uh, whatever I think is like the best, most hidden thing. Mm -hmm. um, like quite near to the camp, you find a small rise and you can head up a small hill on, and on this hill there's a really nice tree that you can camp in. Amazing. Okay. And then I'll probably just spend time foraging for like foliage to create a, a as natural looking camp base as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you can I'll... create your perfect base camp more or less. Amazing. Um, and if it's still not like dawn, I'll wait for dawn. Oh, uh, it's, it's getting towards dawn. Very good. So after uh, uh, the base camp is completed to like as good as I possibly can make it mm -hmm. in like hours, uh, I will head back to the camp, to the goblin hideout. All right. Um, it's daylight, daylight out now, so I can give you a bit of a better idea what the camp looks like. Okay. Um, you... Hmm. Let me just quickly. Before I do any other movement, uh, I check my shield. Uh, any recharge? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, as the sun goes up, um, your shield will your shield will be recharged. Nice. And then we'll do a reconnaissance mission. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think keeping an eye on the the especially these ones. Uh, I can't really tell them apart, but do they look like the ones I saw at night a few hours ago? They look like hobgoblins. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming, do they look tired? Uh, yeah, as the sun comes up, uh, one of them will actually um, move away. Very good. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Uh, are they keep so are, I'm, I'm wanting to see if they're keeping two, two guards at once in each tower at all times. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. And um, I'll do a full circle because that big building is blocking my view. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try to find a big tree on the other side. Uh, any, anything from here? I guess I'll go to the right. Yeah. Um, seems to be more or less the same. Yeah. Seems like each 
each tower got uh, one lesson. Mm -hmm. And it seems like these are all buildings. Mm -hmm. Do I see any other creatures? Because yeah. currently, aren't there any other creatures? Uh, how long do you want to watch? I am ready to spend the entire daylight here. Okay. As you spend the day around the camp, trying to be as invisible as you can and get information, um, you will see that uh, out of the large building in the middle, from time to time, there come a few hobgoblins, uh, children, unarmored hobgoblins, probably females. And at times you will see these weird monkeys. Okay. Yeah. They will accompany like a hobgoblin. Uh, you see the most at one time that you see is two. Okay. And they all seem to come from the tent and go into the big mm -hmm. tent. It seems like most of these um, tents that you see out here uh, are not uh, inhabited at the moment. Okay. And you see like groups of two to six hobgoblins come out of the tent and then return back into the tent. So I, do I see like multiple groups at, uh, at out once? Can I tell like What's the largest group of hobgoblins that are out at a single time? As you can see during the day? Yeah. Um, the largest group you see is uh, a group of uh, six children and six adult hobgoblins. None of them are but? Uh, at this time, two of them are armored. Okay. And there were uh, each uh, archer in one building. Yeah. Okay. Um, do these archers ever get replaced during the day? Mm -hmm. After, I think. Maybe half daylight time or so. Uh, the guards on the towers switch place. Okay. Uh, do the guards that came out second time now in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. were they from the same uh, tents as the one that went uh, to the camp, to the tent during the dawn? Uh, you have information that you don't have. Okay. We are not quite sure where they came from. I'm assuming they went in the tent, but Probably. I don't know. Okay. Understand. You I can think... give me a perception check to see how quickly, uh, how good you notice what the switching of. Um, okay. eh. uh, 17 fail. They come from somewhere. Yeah. You notice that the uh, a second top goblin is climbing up on the tower and the other one is going down. But then again, it's hard to see where they where they're going to. Like your vision isn't perfect. I get you. You are almost certain that they are staying outside of the large building. Mm. Okay. Well, I think I want to wait during night until uh, the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. Just stand around waiting. We're assuming that's what I did the whole time, waiting for mm -hmm. this. And uh, make my way to the gate -y area. Yeah, the, the south. All right. Uh, what is the closest I can get still in my foliage vision? Can I go uh, elven in this, like here, or can this, this thing make it? I uh, don't know, that's too close. You want to stay like 
40 feet away from the uh, from the palisade to be yeah. safely so behind, hidden. Yeah, so behind this tree is yeah, somewhere behind exactly this tree. That. Yeah. Uh, and I think my plan is to be able to get in and get out as fast as I can. I will have, I, this is still a reconnaissance mission. Mm -hmm. I will put Kitty in my uh, uh, normal seating area. Mm -hmm. And I think there is a minute of limbering up. As I think he will activate the shield mm -hmm. and just start sprinting inside. All right. Right. Uh, just... And just go full movement. And he's going right for that big tent. Alright. You run towards the big tent. And... Oh, can I grab you? You can move me as you want. You can get up really close to the big tent. You okay. see, standing inside of the big tent is one of these monkeys. Uh, who will, as you get closer, start sniffing in the air. And you see behind the monkey there is a um, staircase, tunnel, something, heading into the ground. A tunnel. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think I will instantly move back then. Mm -hmm. Rushing away. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, but I, while I am still here, I will just take a just take a shh, look around to see if I spot anything immediate that I then spit that then then get outside of the walls. But I'm still. Uh, there is a pig. Okay. Is it a live pig or a dead pig? It's a live pig. Okay. Uh, but I don't essentially see anyone. Besides these guards, like just chilling about. Nope. As I run back, because I'm unsure how long my invis lasts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. You run back. I run back with this new information. <clears throat> I think the best course of action will be to wait until so it seems like they are beneath ground which is fine by me I want to kill them as quick I want to essentially uh, dry, take out their teeth before I make any entrances mm -hmm. Which means I'm going to Yeah. Uh what's uh, I think I'm gonna wait until next night. So I'm essentially sleeping during the entire day. Okay. I'm back to my hiding spot, prepare it and sleep. And if my shield isn't rested, then I might have to rest one more day, because I, wa I definitely want my shield. Um, so you do this uh, after nightfall. Yep. Go back out, go to your tree and sleep. Yep. During the night. Yep. Uh, during the day, during the night, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you wake up. As sun goes up. Okay. Um, you check your shield, it's working again. Gotcha. What do you do for the next 12 hours? 12 hours, yeah. Uh, I think I go back to watching. Okay. Go back to watching. Uh, and I keep watch, especially to see if any groups go out, just like they went outside previously. Mm hmm. And drag the got me here, so I'm I'll keeping watch of that. Mm -hmm. Um, you actually don't see a group 
going outside, but you see a group returning back. Okay. A group is returning from outside into the camp. Now it's very important. When do I see that? How far? I'm assuming I'm roughly in these types of trees where I am right now on the map, look at looking at the entrance. Mm -hmm. So how far away from from this would I detect them coming in? Uh, I don't know. You see them coming around the palisade wall. Oh, the they they're not from like this road. No. I see. And it's not not a road road. This is just like in front of the entrance. There's like the ground is more trampled. That's why it looks like a road. Okay. And it's currently night light. Uh, it's daytime. Okay. And uh, can you describe this group to me, please? Uh, it's two warriors. And two probably females. Carrying some stuff. Maybe they were out foraging. Okay. Um, this is going to be my best shot. I'm going to uh, get in position to uh, intercept them before they get in the gate. Oh, that's like not really possible they're coming around the palisade wall from the west side oh this side okay mm -hmm. so i can see them like like some like this yep gotcha um they are in vision of okay. the camp uh, at all times I, I i will wait here then in this tree mm -hmm. uh, to uh have them ready uh I would like to position myself so I'm I'm I could get some cover from this uh, one archer here. So you're trying to attack now? Uh, I will attack them. I think as they're like as they're coming in. Yes. Uh, I think uh, I think I want to get them right, like within. I can't get them within short range, so I'll. Uh, I'm assuming they will move like this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I will shoot them while they're roughly uh, like here, or like so somewhere here. The group is somewhere here uh, that they would like to run to, into the gate. Me a few and seconds. I will prepare a shot at the warriors. I will k tell Kitty to. No, I won't. I will tell Kitty to just defend me. Yeah, with the ready attack. And I prepare a shot. Mm -hmm. I at least hope to get a surprise on them. I'm assuming here. Right. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. I am... Do I get a surprise off as I? I will shoot. Let's see. Um. This guy. Uh, I'm assuming the females are somewhere like between them. Oh yeah. I, I want to shoot the guy. This guy, so I, I don't want to shoot the females. Okay. Yeah. So shoot this guy. Give me your first shot. Okay. Right, they get a plus four on this. Thirty-one to hit. Thirty-one to hit. All right. You, yoink the first top goblin. He instantly dies. And you hear screams going off. And it's time to roll initiative. Okay. I'm 
assuming Kitty's Kitty's some like above me with the ready to attack. So if anyone charges at me. <laughs> I did not roll well initiative on this. Right. First up is the archer who will see if he sees where the shockwave comes coming from. I'm assuming even if I got cover, I'm not in full cover of him. Or he, you can move mm -hmm. to get in in a shot with me. Oh uh, yeah. And acting next is this warrior who will take a take this time to run away and disappear around the palisade. Interesting. As do scattering the other hobgoblins, the woman will run with him backwards. And you can hear some shouts. Uh, it's your okay. turn. And my turn? Mm -hmm. Do I, I rolled initiative with this. Do I have an angle on this guy if I wanted it? Yes, uh, but he, he is in cover. Uh, he didn't okay. see you apparently, but he is in cover from your position. So I this would be see. a minus something something. Minus how much? Yeah, I'm checking. Because um, oh, where is it? Uh, minus four. Uh, I think I can still shoot him, so I will lightly step out of my cover. Or like, I guess I'm still in cover, but this time he's definitely going to see where I'm, it's from. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot it's ready to attack goes off. Okay. And he rolls a three to uh, hit you. It, it, that just tings a, a thingy. Oh yeah. Yeah. As, uh, and I think our uh, second attacks. Uh, he rolled a 13. Ooh, that, I assume that misses, but I guess. Uh, uh, I th That's with cover. They have a chain mail, so yeah, that misses. Okay. Oh, no, they don't have chain mail. This is an archer, yeah. I think 13 is exactly what you need. Archer, no shield, leather armor. Sounds like 13 to me. Yeah, it does. That, that, uh, unless they have a, a dex AC. I yeah, know. Okay, so it hits. Yeah. Want me to roll damage? Yeah. The first so one hit one HP. That's why I didn't let you roll yeah, damage. Yeah. <laughs> Which is. Wait a minute. You can't have one HP. Please roll damage. That's wrong. It should have two HP. I'm assuming I didn't crit with a 15, right? No. It's one. Ooh, okay. He's alive. So, he just fell and I mistaked it as a as a dying. Yeah, he fell over backwards from shock. Uh, yeah. Would you? Oh no, yeah, he was away before you were able to shoot him. Okay. But let's quickly give him the correct HP, so. Alright. This one is dead though. Yeah. Um, um, I, that that's my end that's my one attack. Uh mm -hmm. the insta kill the archer, right? So I still have my end of turn two attacks. Mm -hmm. Can I turn that into movement? And I can I also shout to Kitty to with me next turn start running towards after those guys. Uh yes. So uh is there any movement I can take to uh, you have half movement if you want to take it? Okay. You are on a tree, so... Uh, I guess, yeah, I am in a tree. I'll use the movement I have to get down the tree, and then... Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm the, the one attack that was raised against me ting the one dick of my... Yep. Yep. Uh, and then I'm uh, running after the, those two dweebs. Mm -hmm. You have 40, uh, 30 feet of movement to run. Okay. For this round. Uh... 
think this is it. Mm -hmm. uh, I am. I I can't see the archer in the left side, so I assume he can't see me either. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm assuming Kitty moves next turn. Okay. Uh, let's quickly, since you are back on the ground, we should. Yep. Put this back to being a wall. So. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, attack draw initiative. And I would like to check on the... Ooh! 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 Uh, I would like to check on the rules to sprint. Is that in turn or is that just for like chaser, chases? Uh... That's a weird one. Technically, uh, you have to be out of combat, so you could sure. yeah. out of combat and sprint, which would be a strength check. Do we do that? Or if you uh, want I to like out to of combat, it's possible, but we don't have to. Uh, out of combat, your AC is gone, basically. Uh, I am absolutely okay with that because my AC does not matter to me at all right now. All right. Um, sure. Does any shot that anyone that takes a shot of me just auto dings a thing off me? Um, I would like to, if I do sprint, I would like to use that extra movement to like get more better cover from those guys. But I'm assuming at least they might get at least a shot off me. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I will start running. Kitty will. Kitty, I think, just moves so fast that I don't even, even have to run. But, All right. Um, uh, I'll give you a strength check. Give me a strength check. So, so I now know what my strength is. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three success. Yeah. As you're running around the corner here, the archer and the tower will be able to ding you. Um, uh, can you place me there? Um, give me, as you run around the corner, a perception check. Okay. 14 failure. Yeah. Um, you basically get to here and you don't see the hobgoblins. They must have ran into the forest somewhere. Interesting. Uh, then I keep running into the forest uh, and start uh, searching for tracks. Uh, in which direction do you run? Uh, starting. I saw them go like this. And like this. Uh, so north go, or west? Go here, or northwest? Like, yes. Roughly. Northwest? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you're running, you continue running as fast as you can? Uh, I, I will continue to run as fast as I can to get out of sight from the archer. Okay. How many things did I get? Two? Uh, then it's just one. Okay. So that that's cumulative two. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Uh, so you're looking for tracks in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it stopped raining, like rain season has ended. Um, it's been raining really hard yesterday, and today it is still raining, but not as bad. Um, as you run into a random direction, hoping you're guessing where the hobgoblins went, uh, you're off the map. Give me a perception check. Uh, 14! Failure! So you look around, uh, you don't see anything. <sighs> There's a... There is a, a sigh of sadness from Ruben as a mission failed. Must have ran in the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. I think he will accept that. And I think we'll go to his hiding spot to wait for darkness. 
Okay. As I said. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll go to the hiding pot and wait for darkness. We'll actually sleep if she wants to. All right. You hide back in your tree, and as time passes, give me another perception check. Twenty nine. 29 you can see uh, that the monkeys are looking around excellent they are jumping through the trees it's basically impossible to hit them but they are searching do you stay in your tree or do you go somewhere else how many of them do i see it's hard to say you think at one point you see two different ones, more or less at the same okay. time, but other than this, who knows? Okay. One sec, I refill two arrows to my quiver, and I will move slightly away, so I'm a tad distance away, not so I'm not able to be shot from the walls. You're too far away from the wall, anyways. Okay. That's great, uh, but I'll move away from my special tree, mm -hmm. and I will uh, try to agitate these apes. Uh, I will tell Kitty to uh, find a spot to hide. I do not hide, and I will stand out in an open, find uh, a nearest clearing, mm -hmm. or just, just between some trees. And just uh, calls the freaking animals to see if they stop for me to shoot them as I ready a shot. Uh. What do they do? Do they even react towards me? Uh, you you notice them before they notice you. The question is. Do you have an ability to shoot one of them? Mm. Do you want to randomly shoot one of the apes? Let's see. They seem to be gods of these hobgoblins. Mm -hmm. I think... I think he makes the difficult decision here, and 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 sees these as enemies, not finest of nature. And okay, if they're in in the way of him dealing with these hobgoblins, they must be dealt with. Okay. Um, I think well, that's how he sees it. They are most definitely not surprised that you try to shoot them. Um, but give me a first shot against a monkey in half cover. Okay. I'll let you deal with the bonuses. This is just four. a normal 26 minus my thingies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me damage. Two damage. Two damage. And I'll like dip behind like a wall, like just a, a, a tree, still mm -hmm. visible, but I want to be in at least a bit of cover in case mm -hmm. they throw things at me. Uh, you shoot the monkey and you can hear the monkey start screaming. Okay. I, I will continue to shoot them. Uh, if you are somewhat behind cover, the monkey is hiding as well. Uh, if you want to shoot at a monkey at minus 10, you can. I will tell Kitty to go after it and I will start moving out towards it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the monkey is in the trees and it's moving from tree to tree. 
Uh, okay. Uh, Kitty won't be able to catch the monkey. Okay. Then I just tell Kitty to follow me, and I will follow the. Uh, is the monkey so fast that I can't catch up with it? No. Oh, uh, it's not particularly fast in the tree. Okay. But it's but off the I... ground. It's jumping from tree to tree. It's always in pretty decent cover. And yeah. I think I want to follow after it and wait for a chance, any shot, even if it's half cover. Uh, yeah, you can get a shot at half cover again at some okay. point. Uh, I'm assuming we're not initiative right now. Yep. 19. Uh, still a hit. Six damage. All right. Uh, taking the shot, the monkey has the ability to get away from you a bit more, and it's gonna be impossible now to hit it unless you try to chase it. But it's getting close back to the camp, so. Gotcha. Uh, Either it's time to run into the camp, or it's time to stop chasing the monkey. I want to wait until darkness. Okay. Uh, you still hear the monkey screaming. And... Give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, I think I turned my uh, camping spot from my personal tree to uh, again not a very like bottom trees here but like behind these trees you are like, somewhere randomly 60 feet away from the palisade wall yeah that is very yep what do you want a perception check 23 success 23 all right uh you can see what can you see I also put my. I, I give give myself more arrowheads. Arrows. Not my arrows. Uh, as you like, quickly look back into the uh, camp. You see that the archers are not there. Very interesting. Uh, is this uh, still light? It's still it's light outside. Uh, yeah, it's like 30 minutes after you shot the people in front of the gate. Yeah. Mm. Ruben is confused as to why, how, where the hell did those two hobgoblins go? But uh, he'll just stick. Uh, he will try to get near the gate if he can. Mm -hmm. uh, and spend the day. Alright. We are just waiting. I am just waiting. It seems like nothing is happening. How long do you want to wait? Until darkness. Anything happen until then? Uh, yeah. Um, about an hour or so later, um, uh, another monkey will spot you and start screaming. Is this a wounded monkey? No. Or maybe. I will shoot it. I think he's getting a bit. Uh, Ruben is getting a bit distorted now, a bit, a bit like under his skin. He wants mm -hmm. to shoot the monkey. Uh, all right. The monkey spots you from quite a distance. Uh, okay. And will uh, just scream and hide behind the tree. Uh, if you want to shoot at the monkey at medium distance and minus 10, so where does this? Can I try to, if I want to get closer to it, uh, do I have to get in uh, within like range of the, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, wall? 
and all the monkeys somewhere behind you in the forest. Uh, uh, then I'll run to it. Um, monkey will run away if you run at it. Okay. Um, uh, like if it's gaining very much distance from me, then I will just do a, a shoot. Just a, just a. I mean, you like can follow shoot. the monkey if you want to. I will follow the monkey absolutely. All right. How long do you want to follow the monkey? Uh, while waiting for a shot. Okay. Uh, you can get one shot in short range at minus 10. Okay. Uh, d is this like 30 feet short range? No. Or normal, normal short range? range. Okay. Normal. I think he accepts it, yeah. Mm -hmm. 13. That's a miss. Uh, uh, does it get monkey. away? Yeah, the monkey like runs away. Um, do you try to continue following the monkey? If I can, yes. Okay. Um, you will see that the monkey, uh, you can follow it, it's like kind of trying to dodge you and shit, but at some point it will uh, jump down to the ground and disappear. Ruben becomes, I think, in, will push down that anger and the thing under his skin, the getting the monkeys under his skin, and will instead go el elven stealth in the woods. Okay. And then okay. will slowly follow. If this was a feint, it was perfectly done by the monkey, and the monkey easily got, gets away. But... Uh, so, uh, like, the monkey goes down to the ground and then disappears behind some brush and you can't see it anymore yeah uh, that that's what i'm saying uh, the, the, if the monkey jumped off the uh, the trees as mm -hmm. a faint i am fully fooled okay so you go to where the monkey disappeared yes but uh stealthily <laughs> sneakily slowly okay. uh, you sneak up to the place and as you get to where the monkey disappeared you see that behind the brush that the vanished into um, is a small cave entrance. Ruben sighs, understanding what's what's happening here. Probably thinking that's how the other goblins got away as well. Ruben will mark this place in his head and will uh, or even like make tracks on the way uh, back to the, the palisades. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is like mm. hundred and twenty feet away from the palisade world. So okay. far. Uh, then again, I I find a new spot, roughly near the entrance and wait again i'm ready to do this all day okay um that's kind of the end of the interesting things that happen okay um, no more no more monkeys come to check you out you don't see are you occasionally if you climb up a tree do you climb up the tree or so or no? i think i do yeah right. You will occasionally see a hobgoblin uh, look out of the big building in the middle. Oh, uh, the that big tent in the top left corner. Okay. But it's not like a group of hobgoblins is charging out of the camp or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I will still wait during the night. You wait till night. Gets dark. You can't see what's going on in the camp anymore. Gotcha. I, uh, as a reflex, check the shield. Uh, it is up. Good. Uh, then I will go check the watchtowers. Uh, seems like uh, there's nothing on the watchtowers. Okay. Then. 
still kitty on my uh, in my in my hood. I will will do a maneuver something like this. I will, will move to the edge here mm -hmm. of the wall, and just using the cover of darkness, mm -hmm. uh, I will just use my normal like move silently and uh, hide in shadows occasionally, and will attempt to uh, get past here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll like sprint something like this off uh, behind here mm -hmm. and we'll then uh, behind here s look in I guess I see this uh, it's night time right yes it is night time uh, you should make it make it 60 feet please thank you um, so not seeing that I will do what I initially wanted to I will start just from this way, like counterclockwise. I will start checking all the buildings with Kitty by my side. Uh, all the tents, all the little tents, or just the watchtowers? All of it. Okay. You see some left behind sleeping bags. Okay. Some I won't stuff. investigate unless I've done the whole, uh, the whole. Uh, do you check the large tent as well? Uh, no, I'll leave the last tent. Alive. Uh, can you um, draw me like the path that you take? Okay. And every time I'm out in the open, I'll do like a quick run. Okay, this is how I, I need to pull myself forward. So I can't see. Uh, and I don't have to check through the uh, entrance. I'll just check like lifting the tent. If that is possible, uh, they are well built and stuck to the ground. You can cut them open if you want to, but I, I wouldn't just see would have to go to the engines. I will cut them open. All right, you destroy all the tents. Absolutely. And just uh, same as this, checking this, doing a very far. Like thingy with here, just mm -hmm. sticking to the wall, springing, like running around. Is the pig still there? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I ignore the pig for now. And uh, go through all these tents as well. Mm -hmm. Run through here. This is kind of open, so I go back. Run like this, and run here, and finish with these. Mm -hmm. And I see nothing. Nope. I think I finish here and just sigh to myself as sweat-drained Reuben kind of like reaches out to his hair and like pulls on his hair at this point. Just Breathing heavily from the adrenaline, and, and just as a as a mixture of chaos rings in his rings in his head. Uh, I think this point, kind of throwing caution to the wind, he once more checks his checks his uh, shield. Will mm -hmm. tell. Kitty to follow alongside him stealthily, get to his side, and he's gonna go up front. And just like something like this, just start moving into the tent. Not like into the tent, but like so he sees inside tent and people inside will see him. Mm -hmm. Do you stop when you see something? I see this. Yeah, I stop here. And what do you do? I look inside. There's a monkey starting to ooh, 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 and head down the uh, down the staircase probably or maybe it's not a staircase. I, it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. And it's like uh, hiding just, from you. Ruben just grips his bow tightly mm -hmm. enough that his knuckles whiten, but he just sticks there and remains there and waits two minutes. Mm -hmm. Anything happen in two minutes? I'll have Kitty like be perched somewhere secretly. 
mm -hmm. to look out for things. Do you hear and... a voice calling out? What do you want? I am here to talk. Come out. As I shout inside. Yeah. Rough metallic nigh metallic voice of just squeezing out these words gripping my feet why shoot if you won't talk i didn't think you were such cowards mm -hmm. come out i promise i will not shoot you we know cowards we smart we survive because smart you survive because I let you survive. <clears throat> because I didn't come down there. Now come up and talk to me. Why would we talk to you? Because you have no choice. As his, the grip on his bow tightens even more. Probably. As, as he re doesn't realize his strength is even lightly like really putting strength on the bow at this point and as his body shakes shutters his perfect elven skin lightly pales you only have this chance you only have this chance we both know that's not true. You think... Who are you? Are you the leader? The clan leader of this place? The mm. hobgoblin leader? The one who sent his son to die? Sent his generals to die? To raid the humans? Kill the humans? Raid the earth? Plans. I am the god. Call for your leader. Tell him I am the killer of Hobgoblin. If you want and to find our out. leader, you will have to come inside. Go tell him that if I go inside, I will kill everyone in my way. Go if tell you come him inside, that. you will die. I think there's a steel position of a pause right now as both are quite determined in a way. Go, at least shout at your leader. Tell him what I demand. What do you demand? That he come out to talk to me. I will wait. Ten minutes. If he does not come out, I will come in. And I will not. Be unarmed. And I wait. Roughly ten minutes. Mm. Give me a charisma check. I have a minus four against uh, charisma against the goblins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My charisma normally is a. 11 minus 4 mm -hmm. and 11 not a very good dice roll 11.
do you want to talk about with the Hobgoblins? Um, Ruben's current plan is that seeing their state at this point, I think Though at this point your rage is at full length, Ruben feels though as they've given up. The Hobgoblins themselves have given up, at least for now. They probably have plans to recharge, but as long as I'm here, even if I can't do it right now, I can get, get rid of them with Uzmar easily. Looking at their weak, pathetic selves. Nothing really that Ruben had put like all the times the hundreds of times he imagined this encounter and the the fearsome war boss leader of hobgoblins at this point the imagination kind of deflates like a balloon and i think there are demands that ruben will want to give this leader that change their way of life but for that he will let them live If that doesn't happen, even Ruin himself is unsure at this point what he wants to do. But he does feel like, at uh, this point, the the absolute like the image that he gained from even a small contingent of these hobgoblins fighting to the death, like ravaged blood warriors, that imagination has kind of fallen, and he doesn't feel like their great enemies anymore the realization that they're nothing more than pests though he's been saying it all the long all the while long in his heart they'd been they'd still been fearsome enemies but i think at this point hearing the what he deems cowardly voice of all goblins here uh, yeah And I see a contingent walk out. Yeah, after like six, seven minutes, a group of hobgoblin warriors will emerge from the tent and step out. Let me look at these guys. So these three are special, and these two are same. Okay. And as you stand there watching behind you, a yeah. group of hobgoblins will also enter. I think he looks behind him, but he doesn't stay his he stays his ground seemingly not doesn't retreat. Um a kitty, let's just because there very well might be combat here. There might there probably will be combat here. Uh, I imagine Kitty somewhere to my left here, hidden. Wherever you want to put it. Uh, is this tent large enough to hold her weight? Yeah. But okay. Um, I in the air uh, in Elven say to Kitty, but I don't like turn to her. I just say, my companion, stay sneaky, but turn yourself big. Be ready for war. As he once again white grips the bow and just looks out to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, as these hobgoblins step out of the tent, you notice that uh, they have way better armor than the other ones. Yep. And excellent weapons. They all look like the strongest top goblins you have ever seen. Uh, yep. This must be in the middle, the leader of the clan and probably his personal bodyguards. Uh, do I hear or do I think Kitty received the message? I hope I did. I hope she did. Yeah, you think. Uh, Kitty as Ruben it, it, it turns her head like one or two times to look at the six behind him. Mm -hmm. This keeps an eye to, right to the center. Um, 
you here. Uh, I have to grab all my hobgoblins, sorry. One second. Before we do this, do you want to take like a two minute break? Let's see what you do and then we see what happens. Uh, the hobgoblin behind the leader. He seems like a non hobgoblin. Uh, this must be the one that you have spoken with before. So, so. Tell us what you want. Does your leader not speak any language? He does not speak the language of filthy humans. Uh, I think Ruben's eyes turn fully to the leader looking at him. And as he normally does so, uh, a straight up, like, just, uh, just very, very poignant and straight to the point and says, and looking back to the leader, you, leader of goblin and hobgoblin, will bear down your arms against the humans, and you will remain as and you will once begin to be new people. You will take care and you will make sure no goblin attacks any more humans or elves or dwarves or any other people. This is what I demand. As he looks straight at the gob goblin leader. They speak to each other in Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin leader, he has a halberd in his hand. Mm -hmm. Stomps it on the ground. And the guy behind him says, The Great Nair gives you one chance. Lay down your weapons and leave. There is a sneered smile on Druven as that it was what leaves his mouth and he similar to the goblin uh, leader pangs his bow against the ground lightly and says and I give him and all of you this chance lay down your arms or li die They chatter a bit back and forth, then you hear some shouting. And the hobgoblins behind you will retreat. And the guy says, You are no danger to us. Leave. And they will. Stop. Kind of guardingly, uh, the people of the shield guardingly move back into the tent and disappear underground. I, I shouted them to stop. Yeah, they ignore you. And I just say, absolute fucking cowards, all of you. As I think Reuben will angered against his skin, but not fully. If they don't want to cooperate, they will. Uh, but he turns around his back towards the big tent mm -hmm. and will start going after those guys and see if he can pick up the group of six's tracks mm -hmm. to find where they went. Oh yeah, you can pick up the tracks pretty easily. They went around the camp and into that cave that you saw before. I will go down that camp. Uh, is Kitty still big? I know Kitty's big for like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. We go down the cave. 
You go down, okay? Yes. Uh, all right. Better now than ever. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the monkey didn't attack. I will leave the monkey alone. You head around the camp following the hobgoblins and enter into the cave. Uh, you take a few steps into the cave and then you can see a barricade in front of you. Um, is there a map for this or is uh, it a uh, visual of mind? Oh. I gave you the description. You see a barricade. Do you continue? Do you get closer? How big is the barricade? How big is the hole? How big is the tunnel? Uh, tunnel is like 10 feet wide or so. I guess to 10 feet. No, not 10 feet. Like 6 feet wide and then the barricade is blocking half of the way. So you have to squeeze around the barricade. What's the barricade made of? How uh, it's it's wood. How, it's like, how as you can see um, on this on this map, like the uh, spike barricades and the entrance, it's like something like that. So I think I could tear it down with my strength. If nothing stops you. I think that's the play. Um, Reuben tells Kitty to be behind him. Let me quickly uh, check. If get I... ready to behind. Uh, does it? So it's ten feet. So there could be two people in a uh, fighting at the same shoulder length. Uh, okay. Sorry. Um. Ten. As you get closer, that's what you see. Oh, it's roll 20 really moving me around okay I oh I understand I understand okay and you can hear the monkey in the background starting to shout um I first as I was moving around I filled in my quiver with the final arrow mm -hmm. took a deep sigh yes. This is how it was gonna go. This was always how it's gonna go. And I begin. Um, I think we're all initiative. I'm assuming. Uh, if you want to. I think his first. Uh, how does this look like? Uh, does this look like? There's. Is he's in hundred percent cover? Oh, uh, ninety percent cover. So minus ten hit. Mm. Minus. Yeah. Minus ten. Million hit. Okay. But if I got within five feet of him, he'd... Uh, decide now if you want to attack or not. I am attacking. You are attacking, okay. Yes. Alright, then it's time for initiative. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll place myself like this square, I guess, because Kitty's behind me. The Kitty is behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, oops, remember... Okay. Can we now take a yeah, one minute piece break? Yeah. Right back. Thank you.
Hello, I'm back. Okay. Do we get right to it? <clears throat> All right. Here we are. I bet it starts. <clears throat> you go first. I go first. Oh no. What the fuck? Sorry. Can you vote for Kitty as well? No, you can't. I will Kitty's if, he, if Kitty mm. gets on the map. That's a true problem. Where's Kitty? There's Kitty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm assuming Kitty's big, yeah. Very good. All right. Uh, <laughs> first goes the monkey who will ooh, ooh, around and do something. I have no idea what he's doing. And up next is this hobgoblin who will What do you do? What does he do? Good question. This is the mightiest hobgoblin you have ever seen. Okay. He will take a step to the side and then charge you with his spear. Fantastic. Okay. As will the other hobgoblin back here. Okay, well. That leaves me a lot of trouble. Uh, I think both of them ting one on each. That's four together. Mm. Is it four? Yeah, kind of. They have spears, so they can kind of make this happen. Uh, I, you don't need a roll. You just ting two. Oh yeah, that's just ting ding. All right, true. Ding ding. All right. Is four? Am I? Do I still have gray skin? Uh, you have. A, what? What? I have four down right now. Four. Four. four you have uh, one D four plus. Three, right? It's yes, it's yeah, a D four plus three. Still have gray skin, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's my turn now. No, it's Kitty's turn. Oh no, it's Kitty's turn. Can Kitty get past me to attack him? Ah, uh, yeah, Kitty can try to sneak around and. Kitty will absolutely go for the fight one on the ankle. Ah, uh, uh, back attack is not happening, but she can attack I, from the front. I, I think I'll still try. I, I'm fine with not back attacks, but I think this is the only way she can fit. Or, or she can like bite from next next to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bite first as always. Mm -hmm. uh, miss hit, miss. Uh, that's a hit with a claw. Mm -hmm. That's double. That's two damage. Okay. Your turn. <clears throat> I I essentially don't need to roll. I just need to not roll a one at this point. I'm rolling a plus. 17 on this? No, that's plus 18. Rolling a plus 18, that's a 38. Mm -hmm. That's 9 damage. 9 damage on the top one or the bottom one? Uh, the top one. It's dead. Okay. Uh, do they have second attacks? Uh, no. Then my two second attacks? Mm -hmm. Uh. That's still a plus 18, that's a 20. Oh, it's a hit. Six points of damage. That's a dead. Uh, wait, let me retract that from my... That's two, two arrows. I... Uh... Assuming initiative, that's all I can do initiative, unless I can move a bit. Can move a bit if you want to. Uh, I'll move up to like this area, or how much is move a bit? Uh, half movement. More or less half movement. Okay. Uh, I think I want to be here. <laughs> you can see the monkey. Ooh, 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 and as he sees you coming closer, he runs back. 
That's fine. I think I want to do something interesting next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, initiative. Okay. Uh, what would initiative be for moving this thing to the other side? Uh, define other side. Uh, I want to switch it so the spikes are that direction. Uh, turn around. Okay. Uh... Yes, turn around. That's the correct phrasing. I'm sorry. Three? I guess so, yeah. can do whatever you want to do, I think. Cool. Um, do you wanna... Yeah, I'm pretty sure like, Kitty is first, so... Mm -hmm. He will go here, ready attack. Mm -hmm. Be in this nook. And I will just... Uh, I will put down... I, will, I think I have enough actions to... I will put away the bow and then grab this thing and then just... Like, turn myself this way while grabbing it. My back is towards here. And then, then it switches sides. Mm -hmm. uh, can you do that easily, or am I messing uh, up? The barricade is uh, on the map screen. Can't okay. move it. So I'll, we'll draw. Make it. It's this Wait. side. Bam. You can't really uh, like. What's your plan with this? If you want to. Uh, just in case. Just in case. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. I, I just in case I wanted to do right. Okay. Easy for me. Uh, like whatever they do. Yeah, preparations are going to help them. Okay. Uh, so next time I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Kitty is like waiting. Uh, I'll switch both of them. In case I like like need to run or like run past it and to like defend myself, I'll have like I can do this. And then I'll uh, this. Is it, is it dark here? Uh, oh, it, the, it's a light. Uh, it is always, it's, everything's dark. Okay, everything's dark. Uh, so I think I'd like to use my move silently to start going ahead. Yeah. Um, to start just move, uh, move silently. Leather armor is uh, 65%. Hiding shadows is fifty-eight. Oh. That's like another two. I'm still. I rolled a one hundred on a d one hundred. So. Ooh, but <laughs> what, from from my from my perspective, I'm doing fucking amazing. You're doing incredibly well. Yeah. I sneak like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see um, uh, some leather being tanned over here, and you see groups of tents. You probably at some point heard uh, footsteps running away as you were <clears throat> messing around that's, with the things. That's good. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I will. Stop. And I'll. I'll Stop here. He's behind me all the time. Okay. Uh, See this? Yeah, uh, you see this, and they see you, and it's time to run initiative again. Who are they? How do they look like? Uh, these are warriors. Okay. Did they seem to be hiding? They seem to have been doing something. Okay. You can draw your own conclusion as to what they were doing. Uh, let's just give them an average five, because they all have different weapons. And you get a three. I rolled tens for both my initiatives. Uh, amazing. Uh, they scream something in language you do not understand as they see you, and shit starts to go down. Uh, this guy comes to attack me? The monkey will charge around here. And it is the kitty's turn. Well, Kitty was going to attack this guy at the back here, mm -hmm. but now that this guy's here, mm -hmm. I I think he wants to make sure the Ruben doesn't get back attacked, so he's gonna mm -hmm. three attacks as always. Mm -hmm. Roll save. Yeah. 
That's a fail? Oh, that's a fail. That's a claw that misses, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kitty tries to claw with its right paw and gets his right paw stuck on the tent. Uh, it's, uh, it's time for the hobgoblins to act. As this hobgoblin springs into action, he has a two-handed something, something. As well okay. as this a one. Attacks. Uh, I'm assuming that's a ding. Uh, and they both will ding you, and your uh, stone skin will. Okay, so the sixth attack ding me, and my stone skin went away. Yeah. Okay. And then this guy will come closer, not be able to attack you. And what's this guy's deal? How does he look like? Ah, uh, he looks like a normal hobgoblin with a two-handed axe. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming this gives me cover, at least some sort. Yeah, they like try to squeeze through here. This one will be able to get close enough to uh, get a hit off on you. Oh, really? With okay. a modified twenty. That exactly hits. That exactly hits. Oh. Exactly lethal. Exactly lethal. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. As these and two these will two. have a much harder time to get anywhere. This one's kind of stuck behind the monkey. Uh, it's your turn. I return fire. Um, I can I get through all of these? So I can. Oh, these three can hit me as normal. Yep. Yeah. And I can hit them as normal. The other guys would have cover. Uh, you can basically hit all of them in the first row. People in the second row are covered by the first row. Okay. None of the cover here is good enough to. Sure. Uh, I'll just start going down, down the line here. Mm -hmm. Just rolling d20s. Um, okay. Which one? Just down the line, the bottom one. Bottom one? Okay. Yeah. It's dead. Eight damage. Uh, that's. Is that uh, anyone have second attacks? No. Okay. I was in a crit. Yep. Uh, just the, the middle one. Mm -hmm. 11 damage. Also dead. And uh, now we're going to go. I don't want to go for this guy. I want to go for the wounded guy. Mm -hmm. 16. That's not a crit yet. Oh, uh, no. Five dead. damage. Alright, initiative. First up is the monkey. The monkey will try to smack down the uh, kitty in front of him. Uh, okay. Monkey has three attacks. Okay. Uh, first paw miss. No, what? 12, 16? What's Kitty AC? Uh, 18 17. AC with the armor. Okay. So. And this misses. Second attack is a critical fail. Oh no. He passes the save though. And then he tries to bite that Kitty as well. With a 18. Uh, exactly hits. Exactly hits for one point of damage. As he barely scratches Kitty. Uh, just to confirm this round, what does Kitty do have to do to get out of the tent? Uh, or nothing. Is it full action? No, she just uh, lost her last attack last round. Okay. Wait, yeah. Uh, uh, she would have yeah. lost the last attack. Can I, uh, seeing that the monkey's actually pretty fucking badass? Uh, can I go back to the wall here mm. so I can like get a shot you, on the monkey? You don't really see that the monkey's better, so you're looking in the other direction. That's true, yeah. Mm. Uh, As the two hobgoblins goblins. will also try to smack you. The one up top with okay. a 8. And nice. the guy with the 200 axe will jump forward and try to smack you with a 18. Oh, do all of them go at the same time? Okay, 18 yeah. misses. 18 misses and the yeah, other yeah. hobgoblin behind you will try to stab kitty with a 13. Didn't you, that's misses, but didn't you say that the 
Monkey completely blocks Kitty. Uh, you, you Hobgoblin wasn't it. able to attack you. Okay. Uh, well, I shoot the guy in front of me, full health, mm -hmm. a green one. Yeah. 11. Yeah. 7 damage. Dead. Oh, I only want to attack now. Yeah. Uh, Kitty goes. Uh, uh, Kitty will get revenge on that freaking beast of a monkey. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're real, real chunky boys. Ah, uh, yeah. That's much better. Uh, that is I don't think any of the crit, three hits. But... That's four, five, ten damage. All right. That's only ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyone get attack? second attacks? Yeah. No, only you. That's uh, the only guy left to my left. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Well, only four damage. <laughs> only four damage. All right. Oh, uh, that's still that's oh, still no. a twenty. That's still a hit, yeah. Seven damage. All right. And I turn around. Yeah. Uh... Monkey. Next round. And hobble gobble. Uh, press goes kitty. Uh, Kitty wants to attack, but Kitty also wants to make sure to get out of the way to let Reuven tank. Can she do both? Does she? Or... Kitty is trying to murder a monkey. That is fair. I think that's all misses. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! As monkey goes, and monkey will try to slam Kitty once again. Now I see the monkey's badass. Uh, 23. Hits. I'll set clear by five. Uh, AC eighteen exactly by five. Yeah. Smacks Kitty damage. for four damage. <laughs> Turn up this eight. No, not sorry, five damage. Only uh, two damage. Sorry, I said four. It's only two. Uh, oh, only two. Even a yeah. crit. Yeah. Okay. And then critically fails with his second paw again. But manages to catch him and will bite again at Kitty. Ooh, with a 23 again. Okay, crit. Four. Four points of damage. How can you roll so fucking four? bad? Yeah, four. four. On an okay. average of so far. Uh, 18.5 damage. You, you know what? I'm no longer sad that to I, deal seven. That I shot the shit that I shot the shit out of these monkeys before. No right. longer sad. Uh, you go. Uh, my oh, that's my first attack. Mm -hmm. Can I also like take some movement to be in the way of this melee here? Uh, oh, you kind of have to squeeze Kitty out of the way. Uh, it's kind of awkward to get there yeah, without stepping on Kitty. Then I should shoot. Mm. Uh, I'll shoot the goblin first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the goblin instead. I think it's still got one attack off though. Oh, it goes at the same time. Yeah, true. Uh, it will stab at Kitty with a eight. Miss. Mm -hmm. And then dies. And then your end of the round attacks. Yep. Wait, I'll put my. Those 29 those left in that quiver. Um, the, uh, this time I'll actually roll. This guy isn't the goblin, right? Nope. So, so just a plus 14. Ah, oh, it's a hit. So, uh, seven. Mm -hmm. Not crit. Oh, it's a hit. Eight and seven. Exactly lethal. Exactly lethal. And while I have this time, 
Uh, I mark down two plus nine. Uh, I, I use like an action, I think next turn, to grab a bag off my backpack and mm -hmm. fill my thingies full of arrows again. All right. Uh, is that doable? Oh, yeah, sure. Yep. And I turn around. Mm -hmm. Spit at these goblin bodies. Uh, tell Kitty to be more careful and 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 do less of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he thinks if he should turn back and go kill that monkey instead uh, up front. And you know what? I think we want to be surprising. So that's what we'll do. So uh, Ruben takes Kitty and we do a quick jaunt uh, back to the actual base and see if the uh, monkey's still there. Uh, monkey's kind of still doing the same thing, which is hiding in the entrance, trying to not get shot. Um, looking at the monkey there, I think Ruven think that we should attack the monkey first, so we're gonna go attack the monkey first. So um, we rush inside to get back right. the monkey. Uh, as you get closer, the monkey will disappear down. Uh, I would like to at least look down the corridor. Right. Do I get a, a, a face full of arrows? Uh, no, but so that's Kitty that I moved. That's what you see as you point down, look downwards. Okay, I look downwards. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume you sorry. go backwards again as you look down. I think we go backwards again, yeah? And see if they come up. Uh, no. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm sticking at the entrance there. That yeah. seemed like an interesting entrance. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what we're going to fight. So you want to fight down the main entrance now? Yes. Right. We're jaboozling. We're using combat and tactics, DM. Alright. You can charge downhill if you want to. Yeah, uh, actually, can you describe the entrance area? Would it be a, a suitable combat location that we could camp in? Uh, to... You are on a ramp that is heading downwards. A uh, dirt ramp. Hmm. That is leading into a cave. And uh, so roughly like exactly behind here. Yeah, like... that's where you're coming from. Link. OK. Um, well, yeah, I think I th we want to be in a still a stable area. I think we rush down here uh, to and, and I ready some attacks to shoot. Yeah. Uh... As you have poked your head in here before, you had They're ready. Yeah. You had some screams going off. And as you come down the second time. Ooh, there's a lot of bowmen. Okay. Uh, uh, we will uh, check out the scene, but if it goes bad, we'll go back. Oh, you move. In a second, I moved the map. Uh, no, it's still moved. Now that's where it's supposed to go. Uh, now it is locked, so I don't accidentally move it again. And now I wanted to check what's wrong with the archers because you don't see the HP boss of the archers. Because they are not shown. Okay. Ah, oh, I hate this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we're all initiative as we go down. Yeah. Give me one more second. Uh, do uh, my HP dot doesn't show it, but I am down for HP. Um, I can see that you're down for HP. Okay, th then it's just my roll 20 glitch. It says 68 out of 72. 
It should be, yes, and it says in the bubble, but in the top, like, the HP bar, it doesn't show that it shows match full HP. Oh, it doesn't on my end. Okay. Alright. Um, as you run down, obviously, they already end. You get five arrows flying in your direction. They all at minus two addition additionally, so they all have to roll twenties and hope they don't roll ones. Uh, none of them roll twenties, but one managed to roll a one and will probably Ooh. shoot one of his friends in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, shoot the wounded monkey in the back. With a back attack. Six. No, no crit chances. Yeah. Roll a six. Oh, okay. And you can run downstairs. Oh, okay. you don't run. I f assume you shoot, right? Yes. If um, I can. Yeah. The monkeys were readying attacks, so whatever gets closest. And since they go before you. Uh, I also like in 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 here, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty tough for them to encircle me completely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, oh no, Kitty goes before you go. Uh, Kitty's readying attacks or anything. Kitty's readying attacks. They are readying attacks. You go. Uh, I start shooting. All right. Uh, I'm I'm not going to go close to the uh, freaking uh, monkeys. I'm just going to shoot them. Mm -hmm. uh, just wounded one. Uh, that's definitely thirty feet. So nineteen hit. That is a hit. Six. Okay. And the archers get their first attack for this round. Zoom so still the need crits, right? Uh, yeah. And uh, one of them away. manages to roll a twenty and hit you. Very mm. interesting. Okay. Uh, and you will take five points of damage. Okay. And you go attack go. Uh, I would like to shoot the wounded monkey. Mm -hmm. 29, not yep. Wounded monkey is dead. Second attack is gonna, third attack is gonna be against uh, the first archer. I'm assuming I'm taking a minus two to this. Mm -hmm. but, so it's a plus 16. Mm -hmm. It's a hit. Six damage to the first archer. Who oh, unlucky is in 30 feet of you, wow. Yeah, unlucky. Right. Uh, their second volley comes. Uh, yeah. mm. Oh, they didn't, they didn't die. Sad. Any 20s? I'm, I'm reloading to roll 20s just because. I modified 18. Missed. Oh, unlucky. Rolled so well. Okay. Okay. Ooh, music. I well, re rolled. Uh, re did roll 20 and music went away. Interesting. Oh. Dark, are you still there? Yeah, I'm just still there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, music went away when I re rolled. Re, re rolled roll 20. Okay, let me restart. Let's switch to it. more battle music. Battle music. Uh, first up, go the monkeys. The monkeys will charge at you. Ready to attacks on that guy. What? Oh yeah, uh, kitty ready, ready attacks. attacks. Yeah, go kitty. Ooh, miss, maybe miss a claw hit. Yeah, last one hits. Two damage. And then they will try to stomp you into the ground. Okay. With the Fists Six attacks. Um, all of them miss, and then they, um, the monkey top will try to bite Kitty, who just smack him in the face, and the monkey on the bottom will try to bite you. Uh, Kitty is a miss, and on you is a twenty-two. Twenty-two hits for five points of damage. Uh huh. Still didn't update, but okay. Kitty, 
Uh, three attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe hit on that bite. Miss, miss, and crit. Six damage. And up go the archers. Now they still have to roll 20. Um, then you want to roll more than a 5 because the monkeys are kind of blocking the way now. But they still risk it. Um, miss, 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 miss. One of them hits. Monkey number one in the back. Does it though? Yes. Four. Four points. As the monkey screams. And it's your turn. Same time. Interesting. Um. Yeah, we need to take care of these monkeys first. Yeah. They're really Stay bad. Up, okay, your way. Uh, I wanna yeah, shoot the weekend one, mm -hmm. if that's possible. Mm -hmm. 18 hit. That is a hit. Alright. Uh, the hobogobos here will have a hard time to hit anything, so they will try to get into a good position so you can't easily shoot them and get into cover. And monkey, nothing, just this, uh, you and the archers go at the same time. Okay, I'll let them shoot first. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I guess I should call it before they you reveal. Yeah. Um, I am still trying to shoot the weakened one. Yeah, go your shot. Twenty-one. It's a hit. Six damage. Six damage. They all miss. And don't deal friendly fire. Okay. Your last uh, attack. And my second attack goes. Uh, you know what? I think my second attack. If I'm free, could I do it at this archer? Yeah. Minus two. Uh, or not if it's okay. If, if it's a, I can just shoot the monkey too. You can shoot at the archer, but you have to. Aim around the monkey, so it's a minus two on your shot. That'd be still a plus sixteen, so I'll roll yeah, it. Just don't roll a one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hit. Dead archer. Yeah, dead archer. And it's time for initiative. If Kitty were to move like past here. Would Kitty get an uh, opportunity attack from the monkey? Yes. They are painfully aware of Kitty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Monkey I, I'm goes. just, I was just in asking Kitty has some like initiative or like a disengage automatic ability. No. Uh, monkey. Smack, miss, smack, miss, bite. 18? To me? Yeah. Miss. Oh, lucky. Um, alright. This one is a mighty warrior hobgoblin and will charge forward and try to smack you with his. Why does he have a weapon? I haven't written it out. Interesting. He must Some have a... Some disadvantage for... Did he move the corpse away first? No. Okay. Monkeys aren't that big. Uh, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, he will try to smack you with a 12. Miss. Miss. And at the same time, the archers go... Only four left. Um, all of them miss. Kitty. What I'm wondering is, can Kitty get uh, to like, could Kitty get the big monkey? Yeah, not really. Okay. Uh, then I think Kitty's just gonna attack the only person he can. She can mm -hmm. attack, which is uh, the goblin. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ooh. Uh. Uh, thirteen for the save. I don't know her save. Uh, everything misses. Uh, oh, uh, does 12 plus thingy hit miss? Oh, I know, 12 plus 3, that's a hit. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but I'm second. looking at the death save on Kitty. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have no idea what save and saves. forgoes the last thing about the first attack hits. Very good. Right hit. Four damage. Yep. Correct. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, shooting monkey. Shooting monkey. 33. That's a crit. 40. Oh, look at that. Nice damage. Shot. Any second attacks? I just think that's yeah, the option. There's four arrows flying in your direction. Uh, all of them are misses, so. Okay. Uh, my second, the third, uh, second, third attack? Yep. Oh, anything hit me? Nope. 17 hit? Yep. Six points of damage. Ooh. The monkey screams and you kill him. Waste of a crit. Waste of a crit. Alright. Can I end of turn take one s hmm? Yeah, I'll take a step forward. If I can, at the end of my turn? Uh, sure. Very good. Uh, I just do have uh, new attacks, new attackers. No? Okay. No, they already wrote, they went before you. Oh, they already didn't have thingies for me. All right, you go first. Uh, I want to take care of the uh, nearest uh, archer. Mm -hmm. the crit. Mm -hmm. Seven damage. Dead. Uh, Kitty goes at the same time as these two guys will go, and they will take, take their chance to finally maul you to death. I think while they still weren't near me, Kitty rushes past them to go mm -hmm. for the archers. Okay. Um, they both miss you. Okay. Three attacks, starting from right to left. Mm -hmm. uh, if one of them dies, obviously. Uh, okay, uh, does it hit, hit, 12 hit. plus... Okay. Uh, six damage, first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's a... Claw hit, that's a 4 damage to the same one. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be a claw crit uh, uh, for the middle one. Yes. Or oh, does all have 3 attacks go on one opponent at the end? Mm. Uh, I, 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 I'm okay if you wanna rule it. I think Kitty will use all attacks on the same opponent, yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, but she'll, yes. she'll make sure she doesn't get back attacked. Uh, the archers will. Oh, seeing the cat smacking down one of their friends shoot a kitty with a Ooh, 20 and a 15. 15 misses. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, 15 misses regardless. Uh, 20 hits. Nothing crit. For one point of damage. One point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your shots two and three go. Uh, okay, we're going for the ones in my melee. Mm -hmm. 13. It's a hit. Which one? Uh, we'll go right. Uh, top or bottom? Uh, we'll go bottom. If I can decide. Uh, if I don't, it's also, yeah. Right. And then the left, final guy. Mm -hmm. Still a hit, I'm assuming. It's a plus right. 18. Yeah. 20. Yeah. 7 damage. Alright, enough to both of them and the archers will take the second shots at Kenny both missing okay seems Kitty's first mm -hmm. it's the same as before uh, miss, miss, miss. as the archers will Take this chance and disengage. 
Ooh. Oh, right, they, Kitty like... can follow if Kitty wants to follow. I think we do follow. Kitty, Kitty wants to see if... Kitty's faster than them. So mm -hmm. Kitty wants to see if she can get some attacks on them. Uh, they disengage, so no. But... Uh, it, it, that's what I mean. Uh, like, next turn. Yeah. I, th I think Kitty can move like all the way they moved and still attack. Alright. Alright, Kitty uh, disappears into the dark. Like, disengage, like, stops his attacks and starts running after them. Mm -hmm. uh, my movement is 12, so 120. I will... Mm -hmm. So that's 120 in combat, right? Mm -hmm. Ian? Yeah. That's 30. It's another 30. She, he looks down, doesn't see anything on the right. At 60, uh, he wants to be like fully to like go over Kitty to be covered for Kitty. Mm -hmm. If I can? Uh, yeah, Kitty is like following this guy, so Kitty is like okay. that's, that's standing fine, then. next to him. Uh, I think this is all I can get with my movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, initiative. Yeah. goes first. Very good. Kitty attacks the one she's been following. Mm -hmm. That's um, two crits. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. 14. That's a dead hop goblin. Okay. So make sure she's in cover or with, with these wooden thingies. Mm -hmm. or hopefully. Archer will once again withdraw. I think Ruben whistles to Kitty to stay back and stay with him. As a monkey will charge out and yeah. try to smack you to the ground. Okay. He just completely jumps over all the things and yeah. doesn't use. It's a monkey. That makes sense. And um, misses all his attacks. It's your turn. Okay. As I said, I whisper, I whistle to Kitty to not like charge in, and then I shoot the Kitty, the monkey. Twenty-five. Hit. Uh, any second attacks? No. You can go. 20 to hit. Hit. 5 damage. Uh, non mm -hmm. uh, 9 damage. Huh. 9 damage does do it? No. Okay. I think it's next turn. That's, I think that's a crit bite. Yep. Probably dead, but... Dead monkey. Six damage, enough. And I told specifically Kitty to not charge, so Kitty's not charging. Mm -hmm. I even have Kitty move back. And other stuff. And... And? Um, are we still in combat for now? Yeah. Ruben is not going to charge in. What Ruben's going to do now, uh, first, he's going to uh, just grab a bag from his thingy and like mm -hmm. get, uh, like, be like, 
use use these wooden things as cover, like crouch down to get more cover. Mm -hmm. Pull down a large brag from his shoulder and fill up his quivers again mm -hmm. uh, at this turn. Mm -hmm. Anything happen while he's filling up his quiver? Nope. Uh, let me do that real quick then. All right. That's... Oh, that's math. Uh, okay. Math done. And now... Next turn, I'm telling Kitty to get, wait to get like here and then keep watch to see if there are any enemies approaching. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Sure. And then, just as I did before, the enemies will hear a very concerning sound as I begin, one by one, turning these wooden things around. Mm -hmm. you, um, can do so. you tell me if anything's... Uh, I'm st like starting with this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Mm -hmm. Uh, this guy might get an attack on me. I don't see him right now. So, mm -hmm. but, uh, you tell him. You tell me if I'm stopped. I'll do this one first. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm doing. Go this ahead. One. Then second one. Third one. Mm -hmm. Now fourth one. Mm -hmm. Now fifth one. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm here now. Like mm -hmm. I had my back here for a second. Then I turn, quickly turn around to not get back attacked again. No one took the opportunity to attack? No. No? No. Okay. Uh, then I whistle over Kitty to start and with a bow drawn I will wait and start going in. Uh, you know what actually I don't I can't ready an attack and like walk, right? So what I'll instead do is have my shield up for that one plus one AC. Mm -hmm. And Kitty behind me, I will start going inside. Step by step. Oh, this archer is probably somewhat like here. And will mm -hmm. at this point shoot at you. Okay, 21 AC. Rolls a 14, so. Yep. Yeah. Uh, initiative? Uh, yep. Yeah. goes first. Rolls a 20. Good job, Mr. Archer. A natural 20? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Do me. Two points of damage. I really should update my, yeah, the roll 20 is not good. Um, my turn? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for him, he is exactly within 30 feet of me. Mm -hmm. This is quite unfortunate. That's it's not a crit face. No, oh, plus two that eight. Yeah, he's dead. Kitty was readying attacks to protect mm -hmm. me. And the Ruben, again with shield up, begins to look through this room. Mm -hmm. I saw people Stop. here, so they must have gone somewhere. What's this? You get to this place when... Okay. I'm assuming... Yeah, the okay. hobble gobbles will start rushing you. Okay. The two uh, with shields, uh, no, these two with spears and shields will try to knock you backwards. Does Haru, uh, Kitty had it ready attacks, but I'm assuming, oh, uh, if it's, we're still in combat. Kitty's behind you. Kitty's behind, but mm. she has ready attacks there. Mm. Um, give what me a doing? strength check. Okay. They have a certain amount of strength. I need to look this up. Do we roll two or do, I, do they get some bonuses for being two people? They coordinate their stuff so they get a bonus. A 30? Uh, strength check? What are um, Um, they have what happens? Uh, Thirty one. They won. 
they bash you backwards. Okay. And you will give me a tumbling check to see if you manage to avoid getting knocked to the ground. Yeah, I have that. I have that sheet up from before. And what is T for tum? Tightrope torturing toxology track tumbling is dexterity at plus zero. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You can knock ten feet backwards, and the other two will know that you are basically three attacks from Kitty. Yeah, one of them steps in Kitty's range. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is a hit, and Does that nothing else. Him? That's a failure, I assume. Mm -hmm. But at least, so the seventeen is lost, but the fifteen is hit. Yeah. That 15 is a bite, so 4 damage. Right, as they go and attack you. Why the fuck do Was you I have their not weapons? prone or anything? Did I get any bonuses and disadvantages? Uh, you tumbled, but your shield is out of the way. and. Okay, so I deselect the minus plus 1 AC. But I'm, I'm a normal AC now. What's your normal AC? 20. 20. For some reason, I don't have the attacks written down. Do I have them here? Oh, I have them here. Okay. Yeah. So this is a nine, and this is a four. Okay. I'm really quickly reloading roll twenty because I want to update my HP bar to see how mm -hmm. well I'm doing or how badly I'm doing. As the chief more? will also make his way around and will strike at Kitty with a that coward. <sighs> they would have a chance, but they fail. Um, time to roll for initiative. Okay. I can attack over Kitty, or if Kitty's big, probably not. Uh, you can attack over Kitty, yeah. Okay. Kitty goes first. Uh, I think Kitty remains attacking the one that she bit before, mm -hmm. or, or does it make sense to attack the one? She no. first moves so she's not being flanked or anything, she and then we'll flanked. attack. Yeah, I, I, I guess the one that's before, that makes no sense. <laughs> 3 d 2 zero. Ooh, not 20! Yeah, that is a crit in the middle, nothing else. But it's 6 damage for the wounded one, yep. Alright, and then they all go. The leader will smite. Kitty down to the ground with his 18. Exactly lethal. Exactly How much damage? Lethal. Uh, seven points of damage. His her arm is broken. Mm -hmm. As the one in front of Kitty will also smack her. With a 14? Uh, nope, 16. Yeah. And the one in front of you will try to hammer you over the head with a <coughs> nine okay <laughs> and this one will make his way over here and this one will kind of awkwardly stand here so one more spear strike at kitty with a 11 and it's your nice. turn can i do anything with kitty could i squeeze kitty to my square and take up kitty's square if you want to take four hits of opportunity, you can do so. Uh, from who? Got, from who? Everyone around you. Okay. Uh, would I be taking them or would Kitty be taking them? Uh, you can take them. Uh, I accept that. Uh, do, do I burn any attacks for that? Um, yes. How All of them? Half of your attacks, yeah. You have them. So one, one attack, attack left. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I I will still accept that. All right. Um, three, four attacks. Yep. Do me. Um, best one is a eighteen. Miss. Okay. All right. Okay. And you can take your one shot. Uh, I'll shoot. Um, How do you have 20 AC? Uh, well, I have plus 3 from Dex, plus 5 from plus 2 leather armor, mm -hmm. that's 18. I have a magic buckler, that's mm -hmm. magic bonus plus 1. I have a magic ring, that's magic oh, okay. bonus plus yep. 1. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this will be an attack towards... The king. Mm -hmm. 10 plus 18, 28. Uh, yeah, he has 18 AC, so unless you roll a 1. Yeah. 8 damage then. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Alright, you're stiff. Again. Okay. Uh, the one on the bottom will try to smack Kitty into the ground with a 12. Miss. And then the chief will hit you with a 8. Miss. And the other two will hit you with a 19 and a 17. Miss both. <sighs> Unlucky. Kitty goes. Kitty attacks. Uh... Can Kitty attack diagonally this guy she's been attacking all along? Mm, yeah, she wants oh, to. Only this guy. It's... Uh, uh, miss, miss, miss. Okay. Shot number one. Okay. Uh, still at Captain Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crit? No. Oh, so crit. Six damage. Mm -hmm. Anyone else a second dex? I don't know. Chief. Mm -hmm. Nine damage this time. Joints him to the ground. Uh, that's... One more attack. Uh, oh yeah. Wait. Wounded yeah, guy. You have a third attack. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Which one? Wounded guy. Wounded guy. Okay. All right. Yep. Which clears the space for this one to step forward and strike you with his spear. With a 18. Uh, miss. Alright. Yep, uh, miss. Yep. Yep. Initiative. Go, kitty, go. Go, kitty, go. Ooh. Um, hit, miss, crit. Uh, that's four, eight damage. Mm -hmm. I should really just memorize kitty damage so I can do it quicker, but... Uh, goblin turn? Oh, yeah. The first one, 16 against kitty. Just hits, exactly lethal. Second lethal for seven points of damage. Ouchie, owie. And the other two will strike at you with a 21 and a 14. 21 hits. 21 hits for six points. Okay. Shoot them. Uh, right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Five damage. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming I'm getting three, all three yeah. attacks. Five. Mm -hmm. Crit. 
That guy is chunky. What is it with that? But yeah, chunky. Chunky and dead. Uh, the fight to the death is going strong. Are you rolling uh, what? A morales? No, they don't have morale. Yeah. This is the elite murdering crew here. That's true. They have accepted their destiny and will fight to the death. The one against Kitty, 21. Hit. Does it kill by 5? Uh, yes. Yes. We'll deal 6 points of damage. Oh, God. Only one against you will deal nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see if Kitty can. Ooh, Kitty can! That is a miss, a hit, and a crit. That's all together. That five, 10 damage. I'm, I'm now starting to just do that. I'm pretty sure I'm rolling the right dice. I might not be. Uh, no. Should be. It's D, 3D one D2. D3 for a claw, 2D3 for a bite. Yeah? Well, bite is the first one. Yes, but the, the, that's all together. That is a crit and a. Yeah, it should be 3d2. That's what I'm saying. It's better to everything Ooh, to the range. So. I rolled the wrong dice. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, and your shots. Just roll on 3d20. All hit. Yeah. Killed. I, I'm pretty sure. It's 3d6 plus 9 damage. So. I can roll just in case yeah, if you're. 23. That's enough. So you could potentially not kill him, okay? Okay. I, that, that's fair. Then, it, then it's totally fair for me to roll. All the defending hobgoblins seem to be dead. Nothing. You hear like noise all around you. Um, do you want to check what's in the rest of the cave? Or I do. Yes. Um, I have Kitty like I don't know rest somewhere or rest on my bag back or mm -hmm. something. I don't want Kitty to be in the danger anymore. But yeah, I, I even put my bow away. I refill my arrows, I refill seven arrows, but mm -hmm. I, I now just probably have open hands. Maybe a sword in hand, but... Mm -hmm. Do you go and murder hobgoblin children and hobgoblin wifeys? Well, what do I see? Uh... Who do I see? How... As you... Walk through the cave... Okay, wait. That's slowly, uh, slowly but surely you will find out just what the cave looks like. Uh, in these settlement areas you will find a few young hobgoblins and a few wifey hobgoblins. Most of the hobgoblins seems to have ran away after the fight and the front entrance started. They probably ran out the backside. <laughs> I... Every group I meet, I like shout out in common. Like, does anyone here understand my language? Ah, uh, everybody runs away when they see you. You can jump and kill them. He won't. He, there is just a loud, disparate sigh as <sighs> he's not sure what he hoped he's not sure what he wanted this thing this action to look out but he imagined this constantly for weeks months even this exact scene rolled in his head hmm. him just by himself with a bow in hand cha 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 killing every single goblin he sees and now that it's happened, whatever fire there was, or after all the time that he'd spent now with Osma and the crew, whatever little bonfire that remained of all the hatred that had, that all it was of Reuven the Goblin Slayer, now even the 
very molders and speckles of light is allowed. And all that remains is cold ash. As he sighs at this kind of frowning. Still the essence of what others have been telling him before run around, run around in his mind. What Julius told him. What the meeting with the Dryad told him. And as he's watching the children and females of the Hobgoblin camp, I, he does admit, or he might not admit, but there is a snickering sound in his mind saying, they're just pests anyway. They'll regrow like weeds and they'll refurbish these trees this part of nature with their foulness once more should you just eliminate them all cut this disease by the root but uh, as the visage of Arya Julius and Uzma flashed by his mind all the people he's met thus far in his travels here his eyes just became sad as waving his platinum hair in the air he uh, shakes his head stamping out those frosts there's still people they might be vile and cowardly, but they're still, well, at least some amount of intelligence, some amount of normality. His fully now set, and as I said, an ashful consciousness of all the fire that once remained is now fully put out as he breathes in deeply from the adrenaline rush of the fight he once again just shakes his head maybe realizing the sadness of life the sadness that is a part of nature itself As I think he, having finished all the rooms, scared all of the children and women away, just sits down in one of the wooden areas of these tunnels. And sighs. I think. Sits down cross legged. Closes his eyes in meditation and does his damnness to figure out what he feels at this point. Settle himself at this point. He feels good in what he's done. He still feels like he's done the good, the right thing, the correct thing for nature and life. There are elements of light guilt, but mostly just sadness as to what could have been. And I think does he rest here? Yeah, yeah, he does. You I think fall rests. asleep in the cave. He finds a okay looking tent that doesn't smell too bad, but they all do smell very bad, so they all smell like hobgoblin. 
I think for the first time in his life, he inhales the scent of hobgoblin and goblin and doesn't immediately come up with thoughts of anger and rage, just sadness. And he rests. Rather sleepless night later. You awaken in an empty cave. I go on. No sounds around you. You're all alone. I think after a restless night of sleep, he sighs once more, takes out, or goes out of his tent and will do as Usma would do and searches the more important area of the building. He'll search through the chests, look into the crates, and will look at the armor and weapons of the boss and his like uh, support and his like bodyguards yeah they have as all hobgoblins you have killed so far very well maintained weaponry uh, the boss and his um, lackeys have Good armor, some weirdly modified chain armor. Um. He's seen like magic equipment before, so anything that he deems like at that level, he'll take. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to check the base loot. I I, I think he just down takes, but I don't. Yeah, uh, I think he he's currently not feeling the best, so he just takes the largest bag he can find or makeshifts like a a top to be a large bag, like the bag uh, uh, Julius was dragging along all the time. Mm -hmm. he just puts all the shit in there that looks val like any way like well made. Mm -hmm. And we'll have it looked at by Usma later. You don't have to like. Yeah, I have to. I have to check this. There's some gym zones. And yeah, all of that is going into the bag without really checking it. Mm -hmm. I, I might like put the gemstones that like you might crack into like a separate like pouch, but still throw the pouch in that bag. There's uh, one. In one of the chests, like there's some coins in the lead hopgobos chest, uh, hopgobos uh, tent has these chests, and these chests are the assorted wealth of the hobgoblin tribe. We'll okay. find some coinage in there, and sitting in one of these chests, also a um, small glass container with some liquid in it. I'll probably move that differently and have that on my back. Like, uh, on me, so it doesn't break. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I es essentially dump out the contents of these chests into this one mega large bag. It's made of, like, a tent or something. And just haul it over. 
my shoulder. If I can do that. If you think that's not possible, I'll like no, manage no, something else. You can easily grab all the stuff. Mm. Okay. Just I'm assuming there's chest like here as well, but I just take what's. Yeah, look, yeah. everything else is in, uh, not interesting. Very well. I'm just there. giving me that uh, confused. What? Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, the um, liquid in the uh, in the glass container is uh, very dark, very viscous, and black in color. As you look at it a bit, it almost seems like in the liquid swimming is a lot of hairs. Like it looks very disgusting. Okay. So put that on me, everything else goes in the bag, and I step out of the ruins now. As you step out back into the forest, you do realize that the, the hatred seems to be gone. The, and without the hatred, like, jumping into your brain every single time you think about what you have stalked these goblinoids all these days and nights you seem to get a a better grasp of what you were actually looking at And might be able to make your first step towards abstracting the things and not being stuck in ugly goblins. Yeah. Probably feel uh, like that thought, probably like bring up a bit makes him a bit more happy and i think i think ruben doesn't really want to go to his mic at this point he doesn't mm -hmm. want to go to rega what he'll instead do is roll me a wisdom and a in check okay Success is on both. Okay. I think that's like a good place to stop for the session. Uh, if you want to, sure. Uh, how would we go about it next week then? Uh, how how would you uh, think about it? How would we do? We want to pass some time. Do we want to? I think from here, Ruven will have to go somewhere where he can train. I think so as well. And think about uh, abstracting the knowledge. I think the initial the initial part is done here. Okay. I think now it comes down to working on it. I agree. Uh, do you want to just like hand wave some stuff and say some things then? 
Yeah, question. The only question is, um, where do you want to go for training? Do you go go back to Green Peak? Do you uh, go for a forest training montage and stay in Low Bay Forest, or and work work there? Um, you know what? I think uh, because he had the whole point of he wants to like. Uh, coalesce it at the end uh, with some help, right? To like, I, I don't remember the word you used to like fully put it together. Mm -hmm. I think he was planning to ask his master's or teacher's help for that. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be a combination of mm -hmm. maybe starting out in Low Bay Forest mm -hmm. for some days or weeks. And then on a uh, horse moving towards Green Peak, and there, like talking to his teacher about it, and then sticking around these woods, like kind of leveling up. Mm -hmm. First, taking it easy in these woods, as he feels pretty safe there, and then, like, really amping it up in these woods. All right. Um, then let's do some more rollings here. Yeah. We can even, like, there's some time skipping at least, because I need to heal, like, 22 HP on just normal healing. That takes taste. And then. Do you really care. Yeah. yeah. Don't you just go and continue working? No. I probably do. That's no. that's fair. Um. So let's see. Give me another wisdom and check. Int is a fail, wisdom is a success. Okay. And a third one. Okay. Ooh. Uh, int is a eight, 18 on the dice, 28 total, 29 total. Uh, mm. Wisdom is 34 total, not 20. So wow. I don't know if, like, the sum does anything, but mm -hmm. they roll real well. All right, so you spend one, two weeks in Low Bay Forest, and after that you think you have come to the conclusion that you need, and you think it's time to head to Green Peak. Very good. He does so. Uh, he, one point I had was I want to make sure that it's like, the horses are well taken care of. Maybe mm -hmm. I give them a, a few gold to make sure they're taken outside every few days. Yeah, we will have to. Next, so. um, once we're done with this whole training montage stuff going on, go over some upkeep stuff. That is totally fine. I see a few months of horse payments open. I'll probably have to take that off from Uzma. Uzma's going to have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I travel to Green Peak. Um, how long do you want to train in Green Peak with your teacher? Absolutely as long as it takes. Uh, Ruben's ready to stay there for literally years. Okay. Um, uh, unless Usma comes uh, knocking on the door oh. saying we need to go adventure. So it's probably not Usma coming knocking at your door. That's probably where Oliver will find you, I assume. Uh, I'm assuming so. To be fair, there's the point of if it's just a random. I watched a bit of the episode, but still, like, if it's just a human that's like, hey, I need your help, there's a good chance Ruben might be like, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with stuff right now. Go mm -hmm. bother Usma. Or something like that. So I'm just saying, like, it, it will take a lot for, uh, for someone to stop us now, uh, or for someone to stop Ruben from training. Mm -hmm. Well, that's up to whatever happens then. Exactly. Um, do you at least have like how many 
weeks I guaranteed I have, or do we have to like there's some like jiggling meant for that? I approximately know how long you need to do your stuff. Okay. And then I guess you will stay as long as it takes you to consider yourself good enough. Absolutely. And whatever that looks like, we will find out next week. <laughs>